Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're going to be doing the Guardians Gala of 2022. It used to be called the Gila Gala, now it's just called the Guardians Gala, I'm just joking. What I mean is that back in the day, uh, Gila's, they used to be so commonly used in the Guardians Gala. Now I don't see as many Gila's and I think it's because of the prices have gone down, but back in the day at least, I saw a lot of people say, writing in chat, uh, Gila Gala <laughs> instead of Guardians Gala. Okay, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly before I log in the rewards because they actually look quite dank, I must say. Uh, can we scroll here somewhere? There. Look at these skill points. They say it's like 200,000 skill points in total. So, I mean, the first day you already get 35,000 skill points. That's pretty Connect. nice right there. So, we're going to just jump in and check this out. Let's think now. What kind of ship shall we use? We could use perhaps... Hmm, what should we use? Hmm, 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 hmm. What to choose from? What to choose from if it's a uh what's it called now like uh the angels then that means it's good to do explosive damage so let's see now maybe this loki could be good yeah this is a loki that was given to me by my good friend i bad tijori i think we might test this out because i mean uh loki is a ship that uses uh water cans and you can get some decent like damage types depending on what ammunition you use so we could maybe go with like the explosive ammunition and it'll hopefully be good he gave this uh, the name camo content to use camo with so we're going to be activating this camo skin here glacial drift <laughs> okay we'll get the right ammunition types in public fleet fusion m got plenty of ammunition now okay so this looks good this looks good i'm gonna remove this this these e emp i don't think we're gonna need this oh yeah the, the drones as well we can replace them for some Warrior twos. They've got very low. Uh, gonna have very low uh, hit points though because they're just tech two drones, light drones, and bonus. But I think it'll be all right. Okay, but 899 DPS. That looks pretty decent. I've got uh, almost max skills. I've got like level five all the subsistence skills. The only one that I don't have level five is the uh, the strategic cruiser for the Minotaur. Uh, it's at level four. So we can even check here. Look, you see here, Minotaur cruiser level five. I'll get it in a bit. But we'll go out and get to business, see how this goes. I mean, hopefully it'll be a smooth ride. The application should hopefully be no issue whatsoever because, I mean, we've got Webify and Autocars that naturally have really good application. So it'll be fun to see how go how well this goes. And we're going to have Boss Tank with the Reactive Armor Hardener and the Tool Reps right here. We've got Tech 2 as well, so they're not particularly expensive either. Okay, what is this? Guardians Gala Venue. Let's go to that. Orb drive active. Maybe not the smartest idea to go for something in Jita because, you know, high risk of gankers, but I think it'll be all right. One thing great thing about the Loki is actually, like, compared to the Tengu, is that you've got a really good resist profile. So in Tengu, you've got this gaping EM hole. So if something does EM damage, it's not going to be good. But you could always just go for the Loki, which has a bit more even resist profile. So it's not like the case that if you encounter some kind of... EM based ship is going to be the whole world. Okay, so let's see now. We've got Paladin right here. Yeah, see, there's a Paladin. It's not going to be uh, too nice here with the boss. There's no way we're going to be able to outcompete that guy. Well, okay, that's interesting. So, this is just a free site. Anything can just warp in here. So, it'll be best to have a battleship. Hmm. So, we might actually just go back to Jita and just refit to a battleship because it just seems the most logical approach since we're going to get outcompeted to such a big degree when we see stuff like this and this Drake over here all over the place. You know what? I might take a Nighthawk. A Nighthawk could be good because you can have really good DPS in that. Uh, I've got a Nighthawk. Carousing Macarial. Let's go for this guy. Lock, 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 lock up, please. And then we'll get shot, start shooting straight away. Can't lock up. Oh, he's warping. That's why. Little scrub is warping. Look, he's warping to the safe. Where do you think you're going to be going? There's Nemesis over here. Okay. And we're also going to have a skin giveaway in this video as well. We're going to have a skin giveaway, and it is for the Varga Scope Syndication skin. For you guys who've made it this far, maybe you'll have a more likelihood that you'll be able to know that you're going to be able to have the opportunity of participating in this giveaway right here so we're going to give, be giving away three of these Vargas scope syndication skins you just have to leave a comment make sure you subscribe and say your in-game name uh, it's important to have your in-game name in the comment because then i'll be able to like know who to contract you because if you don't have it 
it will be unfortunate. I won't be able to send you anything. So that's going to be the giveaway for this video right here. Any Varga pilots might appreciate this bling looking skin. And the range is pretty bad on this uh, autocan right here. 15 fall off. So you really have to be point blank to be able to do anything particular. Okay, maybe shoot a little bit here, but this uh, <laughs> this marauder right here has got everything taken care of. He's just uh, going to be able to insta pop anything really. Hmm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering what battleship. I think it could be an alternative to go for the rattlesnake with the buffer style because then it'll be like less likelihood that you get all these like gankers if you have a really big buffer. So it might be a good thing to go for that. We'll see. Uh, I think it would actually be a smart idea to go for that. Okay, carousing vindicator over here. Not need to lock that up. We'll go for him. He's got one million bounty. That's pretty decent. I mean for. A basic battleship where you have one million bounty in high sec. This is a pretty big luxury right there. You don't usually have that otherwise. Oh, we need to claim rewards. All right, if anyone from CCP is watching this, please remove this stupid mechanic where I have to click manually because it happens so often that I forget, like I do all these challenges and I forget to claim it and it just waits and doesn't complete the next level. It used to be the case that you didn't have to click claim here to get the points, but now you do and I think that's really annoying. I think it might be that bots or something we're worried about, but I mean, if look, if someone is doing botting for this, they're going to be, if someone's able to script a way to do botting, I'm they're most sure definitely going to find a way to be able to click here and claim, right? It's just making it so that normal players have a harder time. Or it's just uh, anno te annoyingly tedious for normal players. Okay, we've got the typical G to spam as per usual, you know, nothing unusual right there. Uh, we've got the hyena who is not being applied to very well because we can see we've got all these people all over the place swarming. Gila, Drake, everything in the, everything in the house right here. But Rattlesnake or Nighthawk? Hmm, which one will we go for? I think Nighthawk, to be honest, would be better because Nighthawk can have almost the same amount of DPS as a Rattlesnake and have very, like, very, very potent uh, DPS. I think that it might apply a bit better because it will be able to, like, um, ha yeah, the Rattlesnake has its drones. The drones will take a bit of time to hit their target, but missiles will be a bit quicker. Missiles are still not instantaneous damage, like, uh, for example, our autocannons right here, but it's still going to be quicker than drones. So I think that could be a good alternative. We might use a Nighthawk, because I've got one that I use for missioning in the Gita. I was actually looking at it the other day. I was thinking, hmm, this is a quite cool ship, but I'm not sure what to use it for. I think a Nighthawk could be a good alternative. We can even start theory crafting a fit right here. And popped, so you can pop these guys very quickly. The application is really nice. We should have been using drones as well, but it's no sorry. Hmm, okay, so we've got the heavy assaults. Squid Rage, 1k DPS. That is decent. That is decent. Bay loading accelerator. I think we might want to do like a hybrid style right here. It could be good to go with a bit of a hybrid style to get a bit of extra buffer because I don't think the DPS tank is at all going to be particularly high. Medium shield booster. B type or C type, we can go with the C type. And then large cap battery. Large cap battery. Oh, the power grid is a bit on the bad side. Now we could perhaps remove one of these command bursts and put a tractor beam, small tractor beam. So then we can like have a bit more, I could say, ability to pull in stuff if we were to ever need it. Like, someone's trying to steal our stuff. But we've got a bit of a power grid issue, which is a bit unfortunate. So we can check if we can put another cat battery. Thucker. We can just go to these NPCs over here. Lock them all up. Thucker, large cat battery. 40 still. Oh. Well, there's the boss. This is the boss. This is the boss. This is the boss right here. I, did, I thought it was just a standard, like, uh, 
I thought it was just a standard uh, battleship, but that must have been... Oh, we could have maybe, if we had paid more attention and got him, but we didn't pay attention right there because it took a long time for this guy to get damage applied to him, and we probably could have taken him out in the meantime. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to go so good now. The, the what's it called now? The marsh, oh, the paladin right there has got it all sorted. Who got it? This guy, Aura Iron. Uh, yes, yeah, the paladin, of course. But that's how one of these sites are. We'll go back and see if we can find some uh, good uh, drive active. Uh, good uh, fit for Nighthawk. Okay, we're docked up right here. We'll get our Nighthawk. See now if we've got any modules we can use. Large cat battery. Republic fleet. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we do here? Could remove one of the combined bursts, maybe, and then we can put the medium shield booster. We've got Pythium C type over here. Yeah, we've got plenty of Pythium C types. Then we go with a multi spectrum. We've got Pythium C type multi spectrum, uh, tech two, maybe, and tractor like that, stuff like this. I think it might be a bit too overkill to have this C-type one, so we'll just go to multi-spectrum right here. Multi-spectrum. Then again, the capacitor is nice on the C-type, though. I will say that. I mean, when we're not using this, we're cap stable, so that's good. Yeah, I think this could be a good fit right here. We'll give this a try. I mean, I don't have any, like, think th uh, thoughts that this would be, like, oh, it's going to be suddenly amazing but you can always just try you know it's, it's always good to try yeah it's, i mean i don't know we'll see how this goes i don't know if it, i can't guarantee that it'll be particularly good but it's always good to just try you know always want to try resistance so i want to have the resistance so not the extension one let's see now everything activated we have 88k ehp so that's good got crazy resists Nighthawk looks pretty uh, spooky, actually, I must say. With its, like, very sleek, stealthy color scheme. I'll go to nearby systems. We'll go to... We'll go to Waira. Waira. Waira is a very classic system for me. Where it goes to the Triglavian hunting, all that kind of good stuff. Let's go. Orb drive active. I mean, it's nice here. We've got the... The active tank with the shield booster, you see here, shield boost, 80 HP per second. Then we've got some, <laughs> really low, but some passive regen too. And we've got a big buffer. Okay, it's not as big as it would be if we had another large shield extender, but we don't have the power to spare, so we can't do anything about that. Hornet. Uh, probably we shouldn't be using the Hornets, but um, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I'll continue looking here on the combat anomalies tab, see if we can find anything. It would be great if I had a bit higher level of the command ship, because I'll get even more damage. It'll be crazy. 18 kilometers is actually not nice at all, but we will be zipping around with the MWD, so that'll be a good thing. Like, look here. My uh, command ship, level 4. So we could have more. Level 5, we could have more. Guardians Gala. Orb must have just spawned active. as well because I don't think I saw it on the combat anomaly tab. Activate command burst. So we've got some reds in the system. We need to be a little bit careful. Be on our tippy toes. Nighthawk on the way. I hope application is decent because we've got no application modules. And the thing is, the Nighthawk, it does have a bit of a benefit to its application because of its like natural bonuses. But I don't know how that's going to turn out. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Activate MWD. You can just see how does this apply. Okay, I guess it's applying all right. It's not the best. Nah, it's actually applying really bad. Yeah, this is a really bad application right here. So we're definitely going to need more application modules. I mean, 1K DPS. This is nothing for 1K DPS. And I think it would be beneficial, even if they'll mean that we sacrifice a bit of tank. Um, it's just the, you know... The tank is uh, the speed of these sites is going to be so uh, so slow. Otherwise, the battleship's applying decently, though. You see here, 
vigilant right here. Yeah, it's not applying at all well. I could use Kaldari Navy, but you know what the risk I have is? Not being able to do enough DPS to the boss, and then we're going to have big problems there. Oh. I wonder what we could do. We could possibly put, like, instead of a multi-spectrum, missile guidance enhancer, then we could put a target beta somewhere. I don't know. It's a bit annoying, though, with the application. You want to have that application, but you also want to have the brute force DPS for the you know the boss but it definitely seems like the tank is really like minimal you need to like i've just got medium shield booster nothing else really so definitely we could chill on the tank not really necessary at all you can see here we use our drones a bit and i think what we could do to alter this slightly rig is good for pure dps that is very good that rig right there but ugh, just trying to think now what can we do Recall drones right here, they're taking a bit of damage. Let's see, now I've got a mass frigate wave. Yeah, you really need some application here, but actually we applied decently to that little frigate though. So I mean, I think that was all right. Can I turn off shield booster for a bit? But we applied for a moment, we applied really good to the frigate, so. I think it'll be all right. Okay, we've got some hits in there. What about here and this vigil? Oh, we're getting scrammed. We are getting scrammed. Scrambled. Scrambled eggs is what this... <laughs> oh, the, these drones are getting scrambled, that's for sure. As scrambled eggs. Because now they're taking a lot of damage. But you need definitely, okay, you need some good webifying capabilities and good anti-frigate weaponry right here. So you've got the boss right there. I don't even think we're going to be able to get to him because we've got the no MWD going on. Recall drones, please. Let's see if we can perhaps go for this, this guy right here. Attack with the frigate or the drones. We're going to, probably going to get popped straight away. Let's see, we need to get in range. I mean, we've got a lot of range to close till we can actually start doing damage. We might start doing damage now. Why oh, is our DPS overheated? 1.1k, so I mean, it's not the most. Probably this practice does more anyway. But we can see, we can see. Quite curious what loot we get. Hmm. Will we be able to outcompete the practice? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so, actually, because he's using rapid heavies as well. They're really good. Rapid heavies are really good. Hmm. 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 We're burning out our guns as well. Okay, we actually managed to outcompete him. We can just check where he's in here. There, I'll give him the loot. Okay, it's 14 million isk right here, so we can just mark this wreck as abandoned. But there's 14 million isk you got right there. You could potentially get a lot more than that. Uh, I think that you could maybe get some boosters, but we didn't have any there, it seemed like. I can just check right here, just double check this. Yeah, no boosters. We've got some hard shell and obviously a personal effects. So I can imagine if you're lucky, you could get some of these really good like personal effects that like uh, give you massive bounties, like massive bounties, because you could sometimes get, I think you can get, what was it now, 30 second overseer, or th what was it, 23rd, yeah. Overseer personal effects. This is 130 million, and you could at times you could get this from certain events. So I think that could be a potential right there. But the Nighthawk, otherwise, needs to be improved application and range. And I think actually it might not be a such a good ship for this. Uh, something that I think would be good maybe would be something that has good weaponifying capabilities and good anti frigate capabilities. And I'm actually thinking of the Vindicator could be an option. I'm also thinking of any Marauder, really, but I think especially the Vindicator would be good because it has a good, good webifying capability, so we're going to be able to, like, web everything down real good, real, like, just blast them off the field. There'll be no no challenge whatsoever. Um, and also, maybe if we were to go with just some cruise or battle cruiser that has medium weapons, that would be good. Perhaps the uh, some Minmatar battle cruisers, maybe, like, the Sleipnir, because it would do, but then again, the range probably wouldn't be that great, so I don't think it would be that good. We'll see, we'll see, but Rattlesnake could be a very reliable alternative. We could also get then uh, the Vindicator as well. Those are two I'm thinking of, because, I mean, Marauders, they are quite expensive, but then again, you know, the funny thing is, 
vindicated nowadays. It goes for like 1.4 billion. So you, you may as well go for a Marauder anyway, <laughs> since the prices of them are so high. So we might use a Kronos then for that matter. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have fun hunting in the Guardians Gala. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.